What's up guys? I'm June Jefferson and I want to talk about MCM. Welcome back. I'm so excited to do today's video for you guys. It is a reveal. If you watched my last video, I left it on a bit of a cliffhanger because I wanted to dedicate a whole separate video to the reveal of my purchase from the MCM outlet store. But before I do that, I want to take a moment and thank my new subscribers. I want to say that if it is your first time here, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button right now. We are on the start of a beautiful MCM journey together. So thank you for that in advance. Now before I reveal my little purchase from the outlet store, uh, it wouldn't be without the backstory because I feel like backstory and context is very important in this day and age. So first things first is I didn't even know about the outlet store in the great state of California until about a month ago. And how it happened was I was on Facebook. I had actually requested to join two MCM groups and when I finally got accepted into one I was scrolling and getting the word out about my new channel and whatnot and I came across this post and there was a woman named Susie who had replied to one of the other group members saying that she's a, a, an employee at the MCM outlet here in Cabazon California and she actually even showed a picture with her with the business card because I think people were skeptical about who she was saying she was. So I'll share that picture with you guys. That's how I discovered it. So I actually ended up finding her on Instagram. So the awesome thing about her Instagram is that she posts items that are available for sale in the outlet store. And if you work with her directly, you can order from the outlet through her. So it's a wonderful little hookup. So stay tuned until the end of this video. I'm gonna go ahead and share her Instagram tag with all of you guys so that you guys can all go follow her on Instagram as well and be in the loop of the items that come to the outlet and pick yourself up something nice too. So yes, I'm very excited to be able to share that with all of you guys. Now, when I found out that the outlet was here in California, of course I Googled right away. I was like, is this really legit? I even went to the mcmworldwide.com website and went for a store search and sure enough, found it. It's in Cabazon, California, which is actually pretty far from where I live in California. I'm in the Northern part up by Sacramento and Cabazon is this tiny little speck of a town that's farther south than LA. It gets down into by Indio, by the great Coachella that you hear about every year. It is way down there. So I was like, okay, great. Well, now I know about it. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to go visit it, but in the same token, I wasn't really too worried about that part because I had Susie's contact information for ordering purposes. So fast forward a little bit. Uh, me and my family had a trip coming up to Texas and we were going to drive. We were going to drive from our home to El Paso, Texas to visit my husband's family there. And lo and behold, when we were checking the route for the Tesla supercharger network, wouldn't you know that there's a charger at Cabazon and it's a huge, huge outlet mall. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. So I got really excited about that and I was like, oh cool, on the way home we're definitely gonna stop and I'll be able to check it out in person. I got that great footage for you in the last video that hopefully you guys watched. So that was how the whole thing came to be. So now we're at today at this video and I am about to reveal to you my purchase. Let's get to it. Sit 
in its cloth pouch. Now before I take it out of here, I wanna share this photo that Susie had shared on her IG. I saw it because I was in, I've was i been in the market for an MCM wallet. I just couldn't find one that I liked. And there was this one particular one that I had my eye on, but I couldn't find it anywhere because it was an older item. So I kept checking the pre-owned sites, hoping I would come across it in good condition and it just never happened. So I've just kept my eyes open and been watching the MCM wallets that become available <clears throat> here and there, but nothing had really caught my eye. Susie posted this picture though from the outlet and this one caught my eye because of the color. It's red and I really wanted my next wallet to be red or have red on it because I learned that it's kind of a lucky Thing, a feng shui thing that if your wallet is red it is considered a lucky color a color of abundance prosperity richness so I was like well I want my next wallet to be red so I got excited when she posted this one so I was like cool now I'm gonna be able to stop at the outlet and I'll be able to check it out in person and hopefully pick it up but when we got to the outlet all of the red ones were already sold out. They only had the magenta, silver, and gold ones left. And I wasn't too crazy about those just because of the way they felt. And I don't know, the plastic on them just kind of felt like cheap, kind of like a, just a cheap plasticky vinyl wallet, nothing special feeling about that. It didn't feel quality. So they didn't have the red one. I didn't like the way it felt anyway. Probably if they would have had the red one, I still wouldn't have even got it just because I didn't like the way it felt. So I opened my options up, looked at the rest of the wallets that they had available at the store. I was really like stuck on a zip around type of design. But um, when I Clara, the lady that was helping me at the store, Clara suggested this one. She pointed it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out now. Dun, da, da, da. It is the MCM flap wallet. And when she pointed this one out, I said, eh, I saw the rabbit. I like the color, of course. You know, I've got, I'm crazy about the cognac color. But I saw the rabbit and I was like, I'm not really crazy about rabbits. So, eh. I was like, but go ahead and take it out of the case. I'll check it out. Might as well, since I'm here. No harm in that, right? So when she pulled it out, looked at the back of it, and I was like, oh my gosh, they put the back of the rabbit on the back of the wallet. That's so cute. I was just not expecting that little detail. And so that got me excited, opened my mind up, I looked at the size of the wallet and I mean, you know, I've been looking for a smaller sized wallet be, to be able to carry um, from my bags to the smaller pouch from my Liz tote, that pouch, so that I wouldn't have to use the card case, but I hadn't found a smaller wallet. This is like a medium sized wallet, so it's going to be able to go from my handbags to that pouch when I need it to. And it's also really cute just to carry it alone if I just need the basic necessities, keys, phone, and wallet. This is still really cute as a standalone piece. So I really like it. I'm gonna give you guys the outside measurements while I have it out. Across, we're at almost six inches across, just below six. Five and a half to be exact from top to bottom. Three and a half inches tall. And now I'm gonna open it, I'm so excited. Like I still has the paper in it. That's why I was so excited to get this video done so that I could actually start using it. Okay. Got the paper. The inside is this really beautiful fuchsia pink. Very surprising pop of color there. So the length of it when it's open, 
is 10 inches. So if you open it all the way across, it's gonna be 10 inches. And if you're wondering for the depth, just to be thorough, I'll do the depth. Just a one inch thick. So those are the important detail of measurements. I like those things from videos. So this is the inside of the wallet. ID, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine card slots here you get the pocket behind here you have a pocket oh you don't have a pocket there i'm just to get out of the bag guys so i didn't know there wasn't a pocket there but then on this part we get this flap here's all the lovely official mcm paperwork stuff that you get whenever you buy an mcm item Another piece of paper. So it has a pocket here behind. It's got a little zipper pocket for your coins or whatnot. Then this open, little open area. And then the money compartment on the top, which I put my receipt in there. So let's see. We've got a little stamp right here. I want to show you the rabbit up close, the detail of that, and then the reverse, this cute tail. I don't know if their logo is anywhere else. Oh, they have what looks like a card. Is it? Yeah, they put a black card in the ID compartment, which is actually red back there. Behind there, it's red, pink red. Cool. Let's see. Oh, and then we have the MCM stamp there in the snap button. So very cute wallet. Very good price, because this was listed for 240 but then they had an extra 20%, I believe. All I know is I ended up paying 198 for this. And I looked on StockX. I don't know if you guys know about StockX. It's another site where you can buy luxury items pre-owned. And someone had this listed pre-owned in excellent condition for 330. So I like bragging when I get good deals. <laughs> it's a good feeling. Oh, the other thing I discovered after I bought this, cause I was like, whoa, what's the rabbit mean? And why is the MCM like love the rabbit so much? Because they have it on a lot of their pieces. It's just their, their thing. And they consider it one of their perennial animals. And when I have ever heard the word perennial before in my past, I always applied it to plants or flowers. But when I looked it up, the definition for perennial is basically the definition of the word classic, but times a hundred. So perennial basically means everlasting, will never go away, will always come back, that type of definition. So I like that. I also looked up what rabbits represent and wouldn't you know it, rabbits also represent abundance, prosperity, and fertility. So not a bad symbol to have on your wallet. So that made me really happy too. So I think it was just meant to be. So that's my great reveal of my purchase from the MCM outlet in California. This is an interesting fact. MCM only has two outlets in the whole great United States. The one is in Capitan, California. The other one is in Orlando, Florida. So that could be why they're not really known about that well by the general public. So unless you're in the know or you find out like I did, uh, you really wouldn't know about them. The other reason I have great respect for the MCM outlet stores is because they truly are outlet stores. They are not like coach outlet stores or what's another brand that I know, Dooney and Burke outlet stores. I know that those brands have been pretty much watered down when it comes to their outlet store items. 
Michael Kors is probably another one. And I don't want to hate on anyone, but these are just the facts. Those items from those outlet stores are not actual regular items that didn't get sold at the regular department stores and therefore went to the outlet. A lot of those items at those outlet stores are actually made to be sold at the outlet. So I really love and respect MCM for that as well. These are genuine items that just don't sell from MCM Worldwide, from Nordstrom, from Saks, from Bloomingdale's, Neiman Marcus, all of the legit places that you can buy it. When they actually don't sell the items, it goes to the MCM outlets. So I like that. And um, I think that's it. I really, really am happy to have shared this with all of you guys. I am going to share Susie's IG. Please follow her. You now have a hookup to an MCM outlet so you can order items and get genuine items at affordable prices. So again, happy to share that with you guys. I hope you like this video. That's going to be it for now. Stay stunning. Till next time.